So we have talked about the two film theory, but there are other theories, and we use different theories for different kinds of situation. So let's talk about the penetration theory now. In the penetration theory, you have some kind of medium here, and then you have another medium here, and you look at what happens in this medium, and there is a package of molecules moving around here, and then eventually comes close to this uh, other medium here. And it stays there for a short while, and then goes away again. And in the penetration theory, what we say then is that we when we start with this small volume of substance, we have the same concentration all over in this small volume. And then we reach a point where it collides with the other surface and it stays there a while. What happens then is that the concentration at the phase boundary changes immediately to come into con uh, equilibrium with the concentration in this other medium. And then that concentration change penetrates slowly into this small package. So it changes it abruptly to the equilibrium close to the surface boundary and further away it takes time. And the contact time is such that far away in this small box from, from the phase boundary we still have the original bulk concentration. So when can you use penetration theory? Well, one good example where penetration theory is really good is that if, if you have bubbles bubbling through a liquid. If the bubbles have the same size, they probably have the same contact time. Uh, so, and what happens then is that the mass transfer will be the square root of the divisivity divided with the contact time and pi and that times the concentration difference. And I said the penetration theory is nice then if you have a well-defined or the same contact time. But there is a variant of this as well where you can actually use a distribution of contact times. And then you get a slightly different equation.